Good evening, YouTube. Volsic Review back here again with another review. This time I have something a little different. I have Home Style Tiller and Hatch Supply Co. Classic Cookie Pie with included vanilla ice cream. So, uh, serving size is one cookie at 99 grams, 460 calories, 24 grams of fat, 57 grams of carbs, 5 grams of protein. And then for the ice cream, 75 grams being 150 calories, 9 grams of fat, 16 grams of carbs, and 3 grams of protein. This is interesting. Um, I followed the directions to the tea. Gent gently puncture cookie pie bag and place on a microwave safe plate. Microwave for 25 to 40 seconds until heated thoroughly. I added an extra 10 seconds because it still felt like it was cold on the inside in comparison to what I feel like would have been like average value for it. Let the cookie pie rest for 30 seconds, which I've done, so now I will take it out of the bag. And it is warm and soft. That's what it looks like. Like a brookie. Uh, put the ice cream on top of the divot in the cookie pie and savor the sweet, creamy, gooey perfection. There's your blob of ice cream in a bag. I bet this is going to be icing. Okay, that's what it looks like. Why choose one when you can have both? At Tiller and Hatch, we want it all and we want you to have it too. Our cookie pies are the best of both worlds, warm and gooey, cool and creamy. It's restaurant quality, homemade deliciousness that uh, hibernates in your freezer until you're ready to enjoy. The easy, oven fresh, over the top deliciousness. I'm hoping, hoping this is like a lava cake. This is intriguing. I saw they had two flavors, cookie pie and brownie pie. If you want me to try the brownie pie, let me know. These are like $4, so um, start off with one. But let's try this. Start with the brownie side. Tastes like chocolate chocolate chip cookie. Yellow side. Still a little cold. Should have 40 seconds. I did 50. Hmm. Okay, so that's sugar cookie and chocolate chocolate chip. I want to try just the ice cream. Because I have a feeling this is going to be some icy ice cream. Very firm ice cream. It'd probably be a good idea to let the ice cream sit out for a minute. It's a rather cheap ice cream. Um, it's airy, light. The vanilla flavor is very artificial. It's not that great. The sweetness almost seems artificial. Probably the gargum. Let's just try it all together. I'm trying to get it to melt. Okay, the novelty is here. Of being able to buy a sugar cookie chocolate chip brownie pie a la mode. It's here. It doesn't taste that great. It tastes like dry, frozen sugar cookie, and dry, frozen chocolate chocolate chip cookie, and then cheap vanilla ice cream. I would not buy this again. I would just buy, like, Toll House cookie dough, and name a generic store brand ice cream, and it would be better than this. The act of freezing the cookies, I think, is what takes the flavor out. I'm going to give this a um, 46 out of 100. The cookies are extremely dry. 
The chocolate chocolate chip almost just tastes like regular chocolate chip. The sugar cookie itself isn't sweet enough and the vanilla is not prevalent. The vanilla ice cream almost tastes like just sweet cream ice cream. The vanilla is terrible. This is disappointing. I would not buy this. I would just make my own cookie pie skillet. You know, like Toll House, a pound of Toll House makes uh, 12 cookies, makes six pies. Calorically, that'd be about the same as this. This is just disappointing. Because I had high hopes. So, um, stay away from Tiller and Hatch. Unless y'all want me to try the brownie one. If so, um, comment down below and I'll go pick it up and hopefully it'll be better. Like, share, subscribe, comment down below what I need to do next, and y'all have a good day.